want to hereby formally notify all of you of my membership of the All Progressive Congress. Showing on Law Weekly today some reactions on the legality of the Speaker's defection and the withdrawal of his security detail. We have the perspective of a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Ulisa Bakuba, SAN. What I think the Speaker ought to be doing, you know, is to leave. Plus, the National Judicial Council, NJC, recommends Justice Mahmoud Mohammed for appointment as Chief Justice of Nigeria. Justice uh, Mohammed is quite a very erudite scholar on the bench, and I believe that he will probably do better you know, than his own predecessor. Subject to his confirmation by the National Assembly and appointment by the President, Justice Mahmoud is to succeed Justice Mayor Maloma Mukta. That is the lineup. Details come up shortly. It was last week, Tuesday, that the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Amino Tambuwal, dumped with the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, and defected to the main opposition party, the All Progressive Congress, APC. Expectedly, varied reactions chilled the move. Of particular interest to many Nigerians is the reaction of the Acting Inspector General of Police, Mr. Suleiman Abba, who promptly redeployed the police personnel attached to the Speaker. The police hinged the withdrawal of the security aids on the provisions of Section 681G of the 1999 Constitution as amended. It's probably become one of the most popular sections of the Constitution. Now the section provides that a member of the Senate or the House of Representatives shall vacate his seat if being a person whose election was sponsored by a political party, he becomes a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which that house was elected, provided that the membership of the later political party is not as a result of a division in the political party of which he was previously a member. Now, as the Speaker, by reason of his defection, vacated his seat and is there legal justification for the removal of his aides, there has been a lot of debate and talk about that. In its reaction, the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, strongly condemned the action on the grounds that the police is not a court of law and lacks the competence to determine whether or not a provision of the Constitution has been violated. A statement signed by the President of the Bar, Mr. Augustin Alege, SAN, says that the mere fact that Honorable Tambor defected does not automatically strip him of his position as Speaker of the House. The NBA therefore urged the Acting Inspector General of Police to restore the security detail of the Speaker, as failure to do so portends great danger for the country's democracy. Another person who has weighed in on the development is the former president of the Bar, Ulisa Bakuba, SAN. He believes that there is no division in the PDP, but agrees with the NBA that the withdrawal of the Speaker's security aids was illegal. If people had read the Constitution, both the IG, PDP, APC, then they'll know the matter is quite simple. The first is that the function of the police is to enforce the law, not to interpret and apply. So when a seat is declared vacant, it's covered by the provisions of Section 65. Is Tambor's seat vacant by his defection? I saw him defect. So the point is he's defected and he's out. The only proviso which I think you want to refer to is, is there a division in the PDP? Yeah. There's no division. In my own personal humble view, there's no division. And I think the courts have said there's no division. So what it is is if you leave APC, I'm not just in PDP, any party, if you are in APC and you leave and there's no division, then clearly you have lost your seat. And when there's a division, it shows like a pregnant woman. It's to be clear. There's no division. Let's face it. So one expects Tambor to live honorably. But nobody else has left. All the people who have been defecting from the earliest of times. Nobody defects. That's why Nigeria is where it is. Nobody, nobody leaves when they defect. Nobody leaves when they defect. As to whether there's justification for the acting team. inspection of police, who gave him powers? Who told him he has power to enforce the constitution? That is the province of the courts. So that's a big error on the part of the IG and whoever instructed him to remove the details. Security men of Tamboa, however attractive it might be, however, however reasonable it might seem, if 
I don't pay my rents and I am no longer tenant. The law does not allow the landlord to come and remove me. He has to go to court. It's the same principle. Otherwise, you have anarchy. So the police officer, in the shape of that IG, couldn't have done what he did. He is wrong. And the Supreme Court confirmed that in the case of Atika Bubaka versus Einek. When Einek, reading the Electoral Act and the Constitution, deemed to disqualify Atiku. He went to, to the courts, and the courts said, no, you can't do that. It's only us. We are the ones who interpret the Constitution. We say what is wrong with the Constitution, not you, the police, not you, INEC, or not any other person, You're except us. Enforce. enforce. So, everything's gone wrong. Tamberwell has defected, that's his choice, but he ought to leave if he's defecting as member of the House, not as Speaker. Member of the House. Of course, if he leaves as, speak, as member of the House, he ceases to be Speaker. Yeah. So what I expect to happen is the AIG apologizing to Nigerians for abusing the Constitution, usurping the powers of the judiciary, and removing the secretary detail of Tambowal. What I expect of Tambowal and others who have defected, unless they can show cause, is to leave. Expectedly, Honorable Tambowal has gone to court. Last week, Friday, he and his new party asked the Federal High Court in Abuja to hold that the attempt to declare his seat vacant is illegal and unconstitutional. He asked the court to declare that he remains a member and speaker of the House of Representatives until the current term of his office ends in June 2015. He also wants the court to declare that the removal of his security detail is illegal and an order directing the acting inspector general of police to restore them. While we wait for that case to be resolved one way or the other, let's turn our attention to another interesting news. Last week, Thursday, President Jonathan picked up the nomination form of the PDP to enable him to seek re-election. The party said it gave the president the right of first refusal, and indeed two presidential hopefuls have alleged that the leadership of the party refused to sell nomination forms to them. Now, there are those who think that this procedure is wrong and is in conflict with the party's constitution and the electoral act. Mrs. Ayobe and Mr. Bakuba also share this view. Um, to me, I think the, the um, attempt to maneuver out opposition within the party speaks to a lack of confidence which most people would find surprising in an incumbent president. Because normally an incumbent president, firstly within his own party, should be um, big enough to um, withstand any form of competition. And not to talk of an incumbent president in the wider um, election, um, uh, having enough um, you know, confidence to feel that he can beat all comers. But we find all these little, little things that are being done as though the president doesn't have enough confidence in his ability to win, even within his own party. Not one of those who actually believes that holding party primaries is necessarily the best way to get the, um, the, the real choice of, because it, it's the person who, has, um, who can mobilize. But nonetheless, if those are the rules, then everybody should be able to participate. The, what the Electoral Act says is that there has to be double. Remember, it was what we dealt with as uh, a member of the OS Commission. We found out that the, the, what is killing Nigeria is the non-democratization of, 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 of uh, what, what's the word now? Uh, lack of internal democracy in the parties. You know, I remember my brother who was once a member of the House of Reps. He won the primaries. Linda Chibabazu did not even come near the place. She was declared from Abuja. The worst case is Amechi and Omehia. Omehia was not even a member of, did not take part in the primaries. Yet, the guy who took part, Amechi, was removed and Omehia placed. So in order to deal with all of that, we, in the Waste Commission, took particular pains to infuse internal democracy into the party. Now, President Jonathan is an, in, an extremely popular man in the PDP. It, I have no doubt in my mind that the two persons that bought the forms will lose their deposit. So why don't you allow them to just run? When Jimmy Carter was president in 1978 and Ed Kennedy wanted to run, they didn't stop him. But Kennedy, with all his popularity, lost. So that's what it is. Let democratize the space. Don't make people feel there is something mago-mago going on. 
no need for everybody to run. Does it conflict with the Electoral Act, though? It does. Absolutely. It does. Because the Electoral Act has written in internal democratic procedures for the parties to follow. So when some in the PDP say, oh, it's our choice, it's not your choice, the law imposes on you certain democratic principles, one of which is to throw open your doors. Otherwise, the next thing we'll do is that we might not even have elections. We might have uh, a party saying, this is the guy we want to be governor, no elections. So there are certain democratic ideals that we must follow in picking and selecting candidates.